Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to troubleshoot a send email action in a flow. Uh, in particular, if you're receiving an error message saying that there are no recipients to send the email message to. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out new Salesforce content each week. And let's go ahead and jump into this thing. I've created a really simple screen flow. This could be launched from a button. And what this screen flow does is once it's launched, a screen pops up and there are two um, email text fields where the user can enter in new email addresses into. And then the flow will add them to a collection. As you can see here, I named them email two and three. I should have named them one and two, but that's OK. And they are added to the email collection variable that I've created. And then what happens next is this loop is looping through the collection that I've set up. And as the loop sends one item at a time in, a send email action is sitting here. And I have an email body and header that I've created. And then I also have the current item from the loop and I'm using a, the recipient email addresses comma separated. Now, technically in this scenario, I could turn this off and turn on the recipient email address collection above. Now, keep in mind, you can only send the email template to five email addresses if you do that. But if you embed it in a loop, you can loop through 10, 15, 20 records or 20 emails and send the email template to them. Now, one of the problems you may run into is if you are using this recipient email address comma separated is that sometimes you're going to have an issue where there are no recipients and it will get an error message. So I'm going to show you how you can get around this and troubleshoot this and see what's going on. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you and generate this error message. Now I'm going to debug the flow. And we're going to hit run. Now, here's my little screen. Enter email addresses you'd like to send a message to. Now, I'm going to go ahead and enter one email address and leave the second field blank. OK, now I have a test email in here that's bogus. And I have a blank in this second box. I'm going to hit next. Now, the flow tries to run. Now, I have an unhandled fault error message. Now, we can look at your debug details. And you can see, yep, it started and displayed the screen. Now, here's the add to collection variable. Email to it added in test email that bogus email I have. But when it hits this loop, it actually has loop through test email yahoo.com and then it has zero iterations and there's no current item and it says zero recipients right here and it rolled back the transactions. Now I had this situation come up in my kind of real world life scenario and I figured out what the issue is. Let me show you. We're going to debug this flow again. Now, if you enter two email addresses in, you can enter the same one. You're going to hit next and it runs properly. As you can see, both are inputted in here. What it's doing is any of the email inputs, if they're left blank, it is inserting a blank into that collection. The workaround to this is, well, there's two. One, you either make both fields required so your user has to enter in two email addresses in this scenario, or you could make one of them required, but the second one would still need to do something with they don't enter an email address. You can filter those out of your collection. So the way you would do that is you would hit this plus sign here and you're going to add a collection filter and you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it filter. Now you're going to select your collection and it says, hey, what are the conditions here? So items in collection, I want to say that it has to contain an at sign because email address has to have that at sign. So that's what I'm going to do. You could use .com, but there may be .org email. So I would just use the at sign. You're going to hit done. Now, if you just save this and run it again, you're going to hit an error message. Why? You need to make sure you update your loop because currently it's just looping through the collection. But what you need to do is you click back in and you need to change it into your new filtered collection. If you don't do that, you will run into the same error message. Now I have it running through my filtered collection. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to save my flow. Now let's debug this thing again. So we're going to hit debug. Now we're going to hit run. Now on your first email address field, go ahead and put in your test email and hit next. And the flow runs properly. And look on your collection filter here. It actually says item in source collection two, items filtered in target collection one. So even though it didn't look right to us a minute ago when we were looking at it, it didn't like show a blank, there was one there. But if you found this useful, please give it a like. I may go ahead and make a video walking you through the setup of creating a custom button to send an email to um, to users. It's a very useful screen flow that you can use. Maybe on the account, you want to email all the contacts associated to an account and send them a specific email alert. 
But if you want to see that, make sure you leave a like so I know to do that. But I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video and I will see you in the next one.